Okay, thank you. Hey friends, so I want to talk to you guys about something. My husband and I were actually having this conversation. Come here and you can say hello to um, me and the four-year-old here today. Hello. Who has a telescope? Hello. Hello. And who else do we have here? Whoops, I'm sorry. We have our friend Nigel, our cockatoo. Um, I don't know how much I've talked to you guys about our cockatoo. 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 So, anyway, that we're just here. We're waiting on Dad and the older boys to get back. Yes, sir? Oh, I need some glue. Okay, we'll get some in a minute. Okay? I need some sparkly glue. Some sparkly glue. Okay, we'll get right on that in just a minute, okay? Okay, the stickers have that glue. Okay, sounds good. We'll do it. So, we were talking about something because he has a co-worker that, I don't know, you know, we all have co-workers. You, we all have people who are a little combative and defensive in life, right? So, this is true for social media because this experience happened to me this week on Instagram. Um, on one of my other pages, somebody... Hello. Yes, hello. You gotta be quiet, okay? Okay, and hello to the... I know. You said hello. I'm not. Hello. Hello. Okay. All right, that's enough, all right? So... This uh, happened to me this week. Somebody said something kind of unkind on one of my social media platforms about being a responsible parent, suggesting that I was an irresponsible parent, that my children's safety is not my concern. Just, you know, things like that. This is a person who doesn't know me, just a random person out in the world that chose to write this on a post that I put up. So here's what we say to that. I had an option there that I could have responded to this person and I could have engaged in a dialogue. I could have, you know, come at him with, you know, how dare you. I could have felt any which way because when somebody calls you an irresponsible parent or they call your parenting abilities into question, you immediately, you know, you, you, those are fighting words basically. But I don't know this person. And he can think that all he wants. He doesn't know my life. He doesn't know me with my kids. He knows nothing about me. He made an assumption from one post that looked one way to him. And what we and so I have a choice to either respond or not respond. And so here's the thing. In life, we always have a choice of whether we're going to respond or not respond. Guys, when people come at you with things that they're obviously trying to engage in some type of warfare with you, you don't know what they're coming to the table with, what kind of perspective that they have. And everybody has their own unique perspective. It doesn't, doesn't mean that it's right or wrong. It just means that it is their perspective that they have come to out of their own set of life circumstances. And you could have a very similar set of life circumstances, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have the same perspective as them. I have a very dear friend who had a lot of tragedy in her very young days. Say hello, Nigel. You want to come up here? We'll say hello. So we'll say hello to Nigel. Nigel can be involved in this, right? Yeah, you can be involved in this. So um, had a lot of tragedy in her very, very young life and um, had some siblings that also experienced that same tragedy. How she responded to it versus how they responded to it is very, very different. So we know that every, every life, hey, Lynn, don't do that, please. We don't want to scare the bird. So understand that everybody's life circumstances that they come to the table with, they develop their own set of perspective um, for, for whatever reason. You know, we all respond very differently. So um, where was I going? Oh, where I was going with that. So when somebody comes at you being combative or defensive, you have a choice to make. And I'm going to tell you something really, 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 really profound that somebody else shared with me. Yes, but I share it with you too. You don't have to attend every fight that you're invited to. You will have an opportunity every single day to engage in a fight with people for whatever reason. We, work, we live in a world where everybody has an opinion and so many different opinions. Your opinion is not right or wrong. Their opinion is not right or wrong. It is simply your opinion. It is an opinion. And if somebody has an opinion about you and about the way you live your life and the choices that you choose to make, that does not necessarily make their opinion true about you. So this gentleman that, hang on just a second. What, Lennon? Okay, I'll help you with your dinosaur costume in a minute. It's 
very serious business, dinosaur costumes, you know? So their opinion about you doesn't necessarily make it true. If somebody comes to me because I choose to wake up in the morning and I choose to go to the gym and I leave my family at home while they're still sleeping to go work out, some people might say that's selfish. Some people might say that my workout this morning, I took my four-year-old to the gym with me, they might say that I'm being a negligent parent. They might say any one thing because from their set of perspective, that's what they're calling it. It doesn't make it true. When you have, an, uh, you have a conviction about something in your life, and we see this a lot right now in the political arena with this new administration, that people feel very adamant of one way or another. Just because they feel one way, it, it doesn't mean that you, here's what I'm trying to say, you don't have to walk around trying to prove to everybody that you're right about everything. Be confident enough in your own truth and your own ideals and your own convictions to know and be okay with that being your truth. Your truth is your truth, and nobody can ever take that away from you. There's a really cool book called Man's Search for Meaning that you guys should all read. I think it's a life-changing book. It just kind of changes your perspective. But your thoughts and the things that you think and your perspective that you have come to through your life experiences are yours and yours alone, and nobody can ever take those away from you. You can either take those life experiences and those truths and those convictions, and you can feed life into them and allow that to help you spread light and joy into the world, or you can use that to spread pain and suffering. None of us have any authority in the life, in, in, in this life, to make anybody feel bad about the opinions and the convictions and the perspectives that they come to the table with. Do you get that? Like, you don't have to go around and prove to people that you're right. Just know it enough in your own heart. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. We're getting excited. Just know it. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. You gotta know enough on your own truth and your own convictions to understand that you can stand on those and it's okay. And so walk away from the fight. Would you rather be right or would you rather be happy? Ask yourself that question when you're coming to the table and sometimes it is worth fighting for. Sometimes it is worth standing up for. But most of the time I would rather be happy then I would be right. And you know why? Because there ain't a thing in the world that I can tell anybody to, that's gonna drastically change the way that they feel about any one situation. The very best thing that I can do is I can live my life with kindness and joy and light and all these positive things that come from the Lord above to show people, to walk in that light because that is what changes people. That is what changes people. Not any words that I say that come out of my mouth because words are empty. It is actions and it is the way that we live that will truly change this world. And so understand the next time somebody says something to you that you don't like and you don't appreciate that they said to you and understand that just because they said it doesn't make it true. This is old playground talk that I'm telling you guys, but it's important to know this because if you're trying to embark on a journey to change your life and take control of it, there's going to be people that disagree with you. Surprise. Not everybody's gonna love you. You're not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, and that's okay. Because the people that change the world, most often, are not everybody's cup of tea. Lord knows I'm not. So, take that advice, use it if you wish. If it upset you, it's okay. <laughs> we can agree to disagree, it's all right. Well, I love y'all. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. I hope that this helped, and I hope that this resonated. Everybody say hey to Nigel. Hey, Nigel, say bye. Yay! Bye-bye! Yay! God bless. Love y'all. Keep it classy.